Now listen, before we jump into this video, you like the Saints, you like talking Saints history, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button. That's it. It's right on the screen. It's it's on the screen. Just That's it. Let's get into it. Thank you. Willie Rofe is the greatest tackle in Saints history. We got to speak to him about some pretty interesting stuff. Let's go. Who dat everybody? St. John Butler here, and we've got a pro football Hall of Famer in Willie Rofe in the building. We asked him a lot of questions, but I picked a few that were not like the typical career kind of stuff. So rather than me try to explain what that's all about, we're just going to jump right into it. And don't forget, if you like the video, make sure you give it a like and share it with a friend. Maybe there's somebody that doesn't know a lot about Willie Rofe that wants to dive in and learn a little more Saints history. Share. Now, Willie and I did talk a lot of football. We spoke a lot about his career. But the first question I'm going to give you is what's with all these nicknames? He's got several nicknames. I asked him to explain where they came from. Because uh, when I got tired, I walked sideways and leaned to the side. So they called me John Wayne. The, the team, the coaches called me John Wayne when I got tired. It was, it was hot and wrestling. So interesting story. When I come, when I get drafted by the Saints, Coach Moore comes out to practice and sees me in minicamp. Well, it's hot out there. And, you know, when I get tired, I start walking front and limping around or whatever. So more, I thought I was injured. He said, damn, we done dropped this kid from La Tech, and he's injured. He didn't, he didn't know if I was hurt or not. He thought I was hurt. But that's how I limped around and looked like until I took out running. So I guess he finally realized that I could run, and I was all right. But when he first saw me, he thought I was hurt. They called me the Duke. And it was Chill Will, and it was the Duke in college. Where did Nasty come from? Uh, Nasty came toward the end of my career in Kansas City. Uh, I would mess with guys in the locker room. Uh, during the game or practice, I had to use the bathroom. You know, I would just uh, take a knee with a pee bottle or something. So, you know, they, they <laughs> uh, you know, the guys used to tease me and call me Nasty because of some stuff I did. <laughs> That's nasty. Next one I want to share from Willie was an interesting tie that he's got with another former All-Pro lineman, Kyle Turley. I, I grabbed Eric Curry's helmet and threw his helmet. With, Eric Curry had his hand. Eric Curry had a soft cast on his hand. He had his hand up underneath my my uh, helmet, and he was rushing me. And I and I grabbed his helmet and, and took it off. And the camera got it when I had it up in the air right before I threw it. And that's a famous picture over a lot of people have in losing a tech of me holding the helmet up and I threw it off. <laughs> now, Tony was a different situation. Right. They were on the quarterback of somebody twitching his head right. and he threw it off. Mine happened in, in, the, in, the, in the battle between me and the defense. Oh, gotcha. If you made it this far in the video, just know I appreciate you. In the third and final question we asked Willie, who was the most influential person throughout his entire career? The biggest influence? Yeah. My dad. Okay. My dad. Uh, my dad was in every game. Wow. And uh, my dad missed one game. Home game. Not on the road. My dad was on the school board. My dad was at all my high school games. He was sitting right by the bench. If we were messing up a door, if he came out to the bench and started talking to us, chewing us out, right there doing the game, you know, when I was in high school. When I was in Louisiana Tech, my dad, two and a half or two hours, my dad came to every game, every home game. When I got to New Orleans Saints, it's about an eight-hour drive. My dad only missed one game because my brother was playing at University of Arkansas Power Bluff. My dad was saying my brother was playing a game. That's the only reason my dad missed one football game. When I got traded to Kansas City, it's about eight hours going up through Fayetteville, through 71, up through Webb City, Missouri. He never missed a game. Wow. So my dad only missed one home game the whole time I played. And he would get in the car and drive home and go to work on Monday and be at that dentist's office. Wow. That's he incredible. was very dedicated to it. And you got to understand, my dad didn't get to play. My dad went to Michigan State. Bubba Smith was up there. His roommate, one of his roommates was Herb Allen, the Hall of Famer. Ed Buddy was up there. Wayne Fox, Sherman Lewis. So he was at Michigan State. And I don't know how good he would have been if he didn't tear his knee up. But he played up there on some real, real good football teams with some real, real good football players. And he never got a chance to get to that level 
and really even get to enjoy playing at that level because he was hurt. So he always would say to me, God sent me here to finish because he was a good man to finish what he couldn't, what he what he started. So my dad got to go across that stage with me. My dad went to every Pro Bowl. I would take about ten people with me. So to why? So I mean, he went to all of them. He had a great time. Gotcha. So I feel like the journey. That's why he inspired me. We went on that journey together, and that's why he was so proud and he wanted to go to all the games and be there because he loved football. I mean, when he would come to the games, he would get fired up and he would wear my jersey every game. And my friends didn't want to sit beside him in the stands in New Orleans because they'd be hitting and hitting the chair and hitting people. So they didn't want to get near him because he would get so wrapped up. I think he calmed down as he got older. But uh, he was very... Uh, he loved football, and he, and he would tell me like it was after the game, how he felt about the way I played, and uh, uh, and uh, like I said, I was so proud that he was there, and that whole journey, we went through that journey together. That's all we got for today. Thanks for watching. Who that, everybody? So it's Life of a Saint episodes you like? Great news. I got more of those. We got some, like, here? And here, and there's other ones. But those are the only two I'm gonna show you on the screen right now. So pick one and live with that choice. Who that?